Jazz owner. Sells the organization. What's going on with that? He's sailing right off into the sunset. That's, That's exactly what he's on. doing. He's fucking just going to take his $1.66 billion and fucking just live the rest of he his life. He probably bought that team for peanuts. I mean, Robert Kraft bought the Patriots back when for like $400 million. Now they're worth like $5 billion. Gail Miller. He had it for three decades. He, they had yeah, to have bought it for peanuts. Peanuts. Look it up. I need an answer. Uh, Larry and Gail Miller bought fi Oh, so Gail is a girl's name. I mean, it is a girl's name, but I think Gail's the guy, though, isn't he? Right. No, Larry's definitely a guy. Well, they both could be guys. No. It is 2020. No. Cash, but cash, but cash, there's a girl. All right. All right, whatever. I want to know the money. Larry and Gail Miller bought 50% of the Jazz in May of 1985 for $8 million, yep. then bought the remaining 50% the following year for $14 million. Add them both together, what do you got? You got... $26 million. $22 million. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what Not a bad investment. Wow. Now how much is it worth? $1.66 million. For, Casey? It doesn't know. matter what something's worth. It only matters what someone will pay for it. Advice Thursday, Junior. So what is it for? You just said it. 1.66 billion. I did. Yes. But yeah, 1.66 billion. You were right. That's crazy. Do you think they think the Jazz are worth that much? No. They, they suck. Are. Of course they are. Somebody paid for it. Yeah, but what I'm just saying that, that was just <laughs> blasphemy that someone paid for. Yeah, that. but they could have overpaid for it. They could have overpaid, but they still paid. I mean, I still think that the fucking Mets were fucking overpaid. I mean, they, they, that fucking guy paid it for fucking too much for the Mets. Who bought it? Steve Cohen. Who, no, no. Who bought the Jazz? Yeah, who bought the Jazz? Tech entrepreneur Ryan Smith. Never was. What's his net worth? Let me look that up for you real quick. I mean, that's why I asked you. You're not here to peel Three marks. billion. Curious, what did the Rockets sell for? That was a reasonable transaction, right? Rockets? I want to say two and a half billion. Two point two billion dollars. Ooh, I was close. I said two and a half. Did you hear the story on Shad Khan, the Jaguars owner? No. Oh, is this the fucking guy who fucking bought the team like two years ago? Yeah, he's like... He's like, he's like a... Yeah, he's from fucking Saudi Arabia yeah, or something, right? Yeah, he came to America with nothing and worked in his, uh, his parents like Mini Mart. And look at this his. yacht that he's got. Comes Whoa! With. Look at that fucking what thing. What the fuck? Wow. That's like a party. It's like it's a cruise ship. It's like a fucking town. <laughs> He immigrated to the U.S. with $500 to his name, cleaned dishes for $1.20 per hour, and negotiated a $770 million deal on a napkin. What? He was born to a middle-class family in Pakistan, always dreamed of coming to the U.S. After 16, he turned that into a reality. After being accepted to the University of Illinois, boarded a plane to America with $500 to his name. In 1967, he arrived to Chicago in 30 inches of snow, Unable to afford a hotel for $9 a night, he settled for a bed at the YMCA for $2 a night. Whoa. The best part, he washed dishes for an hour, $1.20 an hour, instantly making more than 99% of the uh, people in Pakistan. Wow. What? Eventually looking to upgrade his $1.20 uh, cent per hour job, Sahid Khan started working at a local auto parts manufacturer, Flexing Gate, while in school. Upon graduation, Khan moved to a full-time engineering manager position, but with his entrepreneurial mindset that didn't last long. In 1978, Khan left Flexingate with a $50,000 SBA loan and 16000 in savings to start Bumper Works, a manufacturer of car bumpers. The craziest part? The business took off, handing Khan enough, enough cash to return to his former company within two years, th this time as the owner. Saheed Khan bought Flexingate in 1980, merging it with Bumper Works. He's built the brand into a global powerhouse. The company now has 13,000 employees and does over $8 billion in annual revenue. Holy wow. fuck. He came to agreement with the Jaguars owner, Wayne Weaver. The two went to lunch, negotiating the financials of the $770 million purchase on a napkin. That's Within fucked. hours, Weaver publicly announced the sale. That's fucked. Mm. And then in 2013, he purchased F Fulgham FC of the Premier League. The yacht has been chartered by Jay-Z and Beyonce for $1.2 million a week. Wow. What? And it's currently listed the yacht for sale at $200 million. He's got a great mustache. So you, so you Look only, at the mustache. Yeah, so, you, so you hold... You hold. <laughs>